that's just about do it, Will. Here you go. Thanks for your help, Frank. Oh, no problem. I know packing can be a real hassle, but uh, look at it this way. At least you're going home, right? That's right. Good. Oh, boy. Can I have a little help over here? Melinda. Please. Oh, Mindy. Hi. Oh, she just drooled all over my coat. Oh. Why don't you tell me you're coming home? Let me help you. Oh, I, I didn't know. Everything happened just so fast. Hi. Hi. Hey, you know what I would have picked up at the airport, right? So, um, Mindy, where are Josh and Reva? Good question. They promised to come back with Rusty and me, but they stood us up. So Rusty put Mar and I on an airplane, and he ran off after him. Oh. So, right? I don't know what's going on. Why, why are you looking at me like that? Then you don't know. Know what? Well, you look comfy. If you're looking for Philip, he's in a meeting. Oh, wait. You don't mind, do you? Of course not. Make yourself comfortable. Thank you. What are you working on there? Press releases. I guess we Spaldings keep you PR people busy mending our fences. Well, I wouldn't call it that. You're diplomatic. Were those PR papers you delivered to Alan yesterday? I wouldn't know. I didn't look. Funny. You impressed me as the type of woman who would make it her business to look. Uh, pardon the intrusion, but I need to talk to my partner. Well, what is so important oh. they couldn't wait until our meeting? Just got the poop from the police. Josh Lewis is being held for the attempted murder of Will Jeffries. And make sure the construction bids are on my desk by this afternoon. Yes, sir. Okay. That's it? Yes, that'll be all, I think. For now. Good, I was about to get Rudder's cramp. Thought you'd never leave. Why are you so on edge? Because Alexandra never got back to me about what happened at the police station yesterday. Are you afraid she won't support your alibi? Well, it can't be that bad. Nobody's come to arrest me yet. These gentlemen are here to see you. Yeah, Mrs. Lewis, some new evidence has turned up that we need to question you about. Look, how many times do I have to tell you I did not try to kill Will of Jeffries? Of course not. I can vouch for that. Forgive me, senorita, but we will need more than your word for that. Can I speak to whoever's in charge around here? Is there a commanding officer, someone like that? I am Captain Morales. What do you wish to tell me? You speak English. Only when necessary. Good. I'm so glad to hear that. My name is Josh Lewis. I have been accused of trying to kill somebody in the United States, but I can prove that I was actually set up by a member of the Carrera family. Oh, you can. Yes, if you give me the chance. Un momento, senor. Hey, I'm here for prison, all right? No entre. Rusty, thank God. You have to help Joshua. Sonny Carrera had a twin sister who was posing as my wife. I know this sounds insane, but there's a nun at, at the convent who, who can verify everything that I'm telling you right now. Save it for the American authorities. You're being extradited immediately. No, you can't do that. I'm not going to go anywhere until I can prove that it was Solita Carrera, not me. She deserves to be on trial, not me! the blushing bride-to-be. Hi. You must be excited. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, Harley, you're really gonna do it, huh? Take the big plunge before you even swim a few laps? Tell us how you landed a guy like that. Oh, that's funny, Marcy. You never asked for advice before. Hey, don't get shy on me now. Well, actually, I think you're doing womankind a big favor getting Alan Michael off the market before you can do any more harm. <laughs> Hi, so you'll owe me. All right, don't tell us. I'll just go and ask the man himself. Hey, Uncle. 
sit down. <clears throat> All right. What's wrong with you? Nothing. What's wrong with you? Is it Alan Michael? Is his family still giving you problems? Oh, no. That's not even a problem anymore. Well, good. No, it's not so good. The wedding is off. Why? Because Alan Michael Spaulding is the biggest jerk on earth. That's why. Ah, here he is. Here comes the room. Can't wait for his honeymoon. All right, you little thief. What'd you do with my stuff? You don't seem to understand. I have an American officer, and I'm here to get a prisoner. Not until he's extradited, senor. You must wait outside. This woman is my sister. She may go. No! You have to help him. Listen, excuse me. Uh, you're coming with me. Yes, yes, yes. I demand the right to prove my case! You're in no position to demand anything, senor. I told you my name is Joshua Lewis. My family has a business down here in Venezuela. We know who you are. We also know that you're married to Sonny Carrera, but have chosen the company of another woman. We... Miss Shane is my friend. Not I am not interested more. in what she is to you. My concern is that you're wanted for attempted murder. That's a mistake. That's what I'm trying to tell you. And you're trying to blacken the name of the Carrera family by claiming that they are conspiring against... No, 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 not the entire family. Just one person, a twin sister named Solita. We have checked, senor. Miss Carrera had no twin sister. I, I understand it appears that way now, but I'm telling you, if you let me out of here, I can prove that she did. Just let me out of here for a few minutes. Oh, you think that I am as foolish as your story? that I should just let you out that door a free man. No, bring your men with me. Or better yet, you come with me, okay? I, I, there is a nun at the convent. She can, she can confirm everything I'm telling you right now. Pray, senor, that the American authorities are less naive than I am. I wash my hands of you. No, no! I am not leaving Venezuela without proof, and you can't force me to. Oh, but I can, senor. Rusty, Rusty, there's a nun at the convent that can give us all the proof that we need. Hold on, hold on. You're telling me that Sonny Carrera is dead. Yes. And that we have her twin sister in Springfield. Solita. The one in a porno movie. And Josh is in there telling them Yes. That? Oh, just great. They're not going to believe Well, that. I don't care what they believe. Well, you better start because they've got Josh and cops everywhere think the same. Now, it's obvious that Salita and Will were only after Joshua for his money. Now, how can you ship Joshua back to Springfield to stand trial for something that Salita did? How involved in all this are you? What difference does it make? Let me rephrase the question. How involved are you with Josh by this time? It, it, it doesn't matter. The hell it doesn't. Josh is wanted for attempted murder, and I want to know how mixed up you are in all this. I'm only mixed up in trying to clear him. Well, then why aren't you mixed up back in Springfield with Mary Allen? I am. But I can't turn my back on Joshua. He needs me. <sighs> That's always been your problem. Rusty, don't start. Not now. Joshua has to get to that convent so he can get the proof that he needs to prove he's innocent. And you have to help him. I don't have to do anything. But I am going to go back in there or out there and see if Springfield PD can get me in there. Thank you. Just don't do anything stupid while I'm gone. See, mm. see. And tell the magistrate I need those extradition papers immediately. Uh, excuse me. I, I need to make a collect call to the United States, please. Oh, certainly. And may I suggest that you make it to a good lawyer? A shoe? Did you recognize it? No, uh, is it one of Josh's? Well, that's what we'd like to know. It's Italian, it's expensive. You can still see where the sole was cut with crisscrosses for traction. Why bring it here? It turned up in a box that was donated to a clothing drive in your husband's name the day after the murder attempt on Dr. Jeffries. The clothing drive didn't know what to do with one shoe. Well, it's not one of Josh's. He, he's never worn anything that ever looked like that. And how do you suppose it wound up in a box with his name on it? I don't know. 
I don't know what's going on around here anymore. My husband, the charges, I, I, nothing makes, is making any sense. You mean like your husband being in Venezuela with another woman? Have they found him yet? He's being held by the Venezuelan police pending extradition. Oh, God. Oh, can I get you some tea or something to make you feel better? No, one. I can't even think about food. Look, I don't mean to add insult to injury, Miss Lewis, but Reba Shane is with your husband now. Did you know that he was involved with her? No. I mean, I knew they had quite a history together, but I had no idea that they were currently involved. Now, we can handle this, Mr. Spaulding. Have you spoken to your husband since he's been gone? No. Where did they find him? According to reports, he was found on a beach near your family's hacienda with Miss Shane. He's just not himself anymore. Does that mean that you believe he could, be, could have been involved in Dr. Jeffrey's disappearance? No. Not at all. Not only that, Wanda said that she was here with him that night. Uh, yes, yes, we, uh, we know what Wanda said. Yes, we have an anonymous tip that Ms. Hyatt was in fact at St. Joseph's Hospital in Clayton on the night that she claimed to be here with Mr. Lewis. And that's not the only inconsistency we've overturned in this case. Now, it's about time that somebody came clean around here. Now, you listen. I have cooperated with you fully. I have nothing more to tell you. Well, think it over and get back to me. Everybody in this room can be in a lot of trouble if any more discrepancies crop up. You know where to find us. Did I say Thursday night? I was with Josh. I meant Wednesday night. You know, now that they've started juggling prime time, I've gotten all confused. You know, I've had to start watching those English shows, and I hate it. So, what do you think of your precious Riva now? She was picked up on a beach with your husband. It doesn't mean anything happened between them. Hello. Yes, I'll accept the charges. Reva. Caracas Police Department is holding Josh for extradition right now. Josh Lewis tried to kill his best friend. I can't believe that. You're tight with Sonny Lewis, aren't you? She's a very dear friend. Why? Word has it that you were seen with her the night Will Jeffries disappeared. Who told you that? Ace Newshound, Nose for News. Besides, I got sources. I guess I should be grateful you're on my side. Yeah. How's she taking it? I don't know, but I have every intention of finding out. Yeah. Tell Philip I'll call him later. <coughs> okay. Listen, Alexandra, you find any scoops the Scooping in... is your job. Right. This arrest is somewhat of a surprise, isn't it? Oh, well, without my sources, it sure would be. I don't buy it, but then the police never ask my opinions. <laughs> well, Philip will be very interested to hear about it. Yeah, well, that's one way to eliminate the competition. By the way, I don't see it down at the journal much anymore. What for? <laughs> Come on, what are you kidding me? I used to be down there every other day, drum beating for Philip to get coverage. What's the matter? Mr. Spaulding Jr. turned out not to be as good as you PR'd him to be. Philip doesn't need me to do that for him anymore. Uh, <laughs> well, don't worry. Because Philip was a pretty good kid. Maybe he'll come around again someday. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. And by the way, there is a welcome home party for Rick and Meredith out at the lighthouse. Why don't you and Philip think about dropping by since Philip's the one who gave it to him? Mm. Thanks. I'm sure that Philip will want to be there. So we'll see you tonight? Till then. It was over, otherwise I would never have got anywhere near Philip. Why did you? Well, I wish that was an easy question to answer. I don't know. Rick and I were having problems. I mean, you know how much we were fighting. I, I couldn't seem to do anything right. I was like this awful person. And then, uh, Megan Fletcher's wedding, Rick and I had this big blowout. Um, I thought things were finished, and I believed everything was my fault. So I go running off the galaxy, and who's there? Philip. The night I left him there. 
You know, like... He was... He was so nice. And he was so, so funny. And he was the only person that entire day that didn't want to make me into some kind of better person than I was. Oh, boy. That's really ironic, isn't it? A better person. And now I am going to marry Rick, but I am carrying his best friend's baby. So, dear Lord, tell me, what am I supposed to do? Meredith's baby. Philip's baby. Seems that life is not quite as perfect for the Bowers as it seems. Sarah's place. Alan's. Alan's. Why do you say Alan? Because he'll know what to do. Rusty said take her over to Forget about Rusty. I'll, I'll go find Alan and uh, I'll be back in a little bit, all right? Come here. Come on. You're having another headache, aren't you? Yeah, but these, these, these painkillers seem to help. Look, why don't you sit down and I'll go get you some tea? No, no. I can't stay here. What do you mean? I think it's time that I went back to my own apartment. Will, you need help right now. Look, this isn't fair. My being here isn't fair to you. You've tried so hard to help me remember, and I pay you back by... by telling you that your uncle tried to kill me. Maybe it's all a mistake, and maybe your mind is just playing tricks on you. I wish it were, but I don't think so. Where the hell are you? Uh, at a police station in Caracas. Alan, I really miss you. And knowing that I'm coming home to you is the only thing that's keeping me going through all this. How is Mara? She's fine. In fact, Rusty sent her back to Springfield with Mindy. Why didn't you come back with her? I mean, you are free to go, aren't you? Yes. But Joshua's in big trouble. Do you still have any connections down here? Why? Well, I thought maybe you might be able to help. Oh, I can help, all right. I'll have kidnapping added to the charges. Alan, you don't understand. I think I do. You wanted me powerful again so I could pull strings for you, or even your little buddy boy. Look, I know I'm asking a lot. Not a lot. It's too much. I want you to come back now. Joshua is my oldest friend, Alan. I can't turn my back on him, not now. I know you didn't want me to interrupt, but a Mr. Marquez is on the line from Venezuela. He says it's urgent. Alan, Alan... Reva, if you don't come back home now, there won't be a home to come back to. You don't understand. Yes, I do. Rusty, do something, please. So you took care of it then. Good. Good. No, I don't have time for details now. I'll speak to you later. That was your private investigator? What did he say? More than you have. How many loose ends have you left hanging around, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. All right, then let me spell it out for you. If you're hiding anything, you had better come clear right now. Otherwise, you're on your own. I'm not going down the drain with you. I still don't know what you're driving at, Alan. Can you, can you really control Will? I have so far. What if he gets his memory back? He won't, Alan. Even if he does, nothing, it's all gonna be okay. He'll either realize that he's in love with me. Or? Or he'll kill me. Forgive my suspicions, but uh, 
I always like to know who the players are before I get involved in a new game. Well, this is one player you will have to take at face value. Oh, excuse me. Somebody here wants to see you. Well, hello, Mara, my little girl. Hello, come here. Here you go. Oh, I've Sorry, missed you hey. so much. Oh, Who's that child doing here? Uh, Mindy told me to bring her over here. Here you go. You mean Josh and Reva are back? No, I think they're uh, still down in Venezuela. Oh. Hmm? Listen, I, uh, excuse me. Excuse me. I've, I've got to get Mara over to Sarah's. Hmm? I'll be right back. What the hell are you trying to pull? We'll continue with part two of Guiding Light in a moment. Calm down, people are staring at me. Yeah, well, that's what you get for being a kleptomaniac. Now, you can either give my stuff back, or I can have your greedy butt thrown into jail. Fine. I'm willing to negotiate, but only in private. Don't worry, I've got it right where I want. Don't we never argue like that? Well, who is time? I don't steal anything from you. You owe me. I owe you for what? For the grief I went through pretending I liked you enough to marry you. Oh, please. That was the best thing that ever happened to you. Oh, really? Who told you that, Terry? And you had to go throw it away to be with Philip. That was public relations. Yeah, well, we all know how you like to lobby. You know, you're a real case, Harley. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't mean to interrupt. How much you want for this stereo? Oh, that's, that's $500. Well, give me that. It's not for sale. Excuse us. Thanks. Did you get a grip, Richie Rich? The deal is off fine. No way, Jose, are you dragging my name through the mud in front of everybody. How we gotta think of something to tell these people so I can save face. Well, how could somebody who dresses so sleazy worry about their reputation? Philip well, thinks I dress just fine. Zippers and all, right? You can make as many cracks as you want, okay? Let's just give something to the gossip hounds to chew on. You don't give up, do you? Let's tell them we couldn't decide where to send our kids to prep school or where to build our mansion, anything like that. Okay. I'll give him a reason why we broke up. I'll give him a really good reason. Good. I knew you'd see it my way. Hey, everybody. Harley and I have an announcement to make. Close. Huh? Yeah. The wedding is off. Huh? What? Whoa. Excuse me. I'm sorry. One of us has a sex problem. Would you try this on, please, Dr. Jeffries? It's a perfect fit. Well, look, I don't know what happened, all right, but there is an explanation for what you remembered. And believe me, Uncle Josh is no cold-blooded killer. I never said it was cold-blooded. Now, look, we had a fight. Things got out of control, but he tried to kill me. And you're sure? Yes. The rest is kind of hazy, but I'm going to remember it. I have to. But, Melinda, I don't think I can do that being here with you. Why? I don't understand. Because there's a part of me that doesn't want to remember anything that's going to hurt you. Just being near you, it, it just kills any desire I have to remember anything. It's like you're a mental block for me. I was just trying to help. Then stay away from me while I'm trying to put the pieces together. Because I'm going to find out the truth. Even if it means hurting you. Well, hey, don't worry about me. I won't let you. Yeah. You know, everybody just tries to protect me. And that's where you've been different. I'm not just Mindy to you. I'm Melinda. And you make me feel real strong. Don't take that away from me. I'm sorry, Melinda. It's like, don't you even care about me at all? Haven't you heard a word I'm saying to you? Yes, I care about you. But there are obstacles. Obstacles between us that I can't ignore. Big obstacles. You should have told me what you were up to. Did you support my alibi or not? Yes. 
But that was before I knew we were setting up Josh Lewis, and then it was too late to back out. Alexandra, me too. I didn't know that Josh had been arrested until after I'd gone to the police and told them I was with you that night. I was in over my head. The man is innocent. Well, it's not too late to clear him. No. No? What I wonder is how on earth you persuaded Will to tell the police it was Josh who tried to kill him and not you. Will remembers that night differently now. With your help, no doubt. What was I supposed to do, Alexandra? Spend the rest of my life in prison while Josh and Reva lived happily ever after? I don't think so. Have you come to hate your husband that much? I have come to be terrified. I thought that if I told you he had been arrested, that you would turn your back on me just like he has. I don't turn my back on friends, Sonny. That's why my friends don't use me. I'm sorry, Alexandra, I... You used me. Actually, it sounds like something Alan would do. Well, I wouldn't know about that. My God. He's got you lying for him already. What's the plan, sweetie? What has Alan promised you to join forces with him? You are imagining things, Alexandra. I am in control of the situation with Will, not with Alan. And what's my brother? Your advisor? Let's see now. If Josh goes to prison, which he well might if the charges stick, you would end up virtually controlling Lewis Oil. Of course, given your relative inexperience, you'd need help. Is that where Alan slithers in? I think you're giving your brother far too much credit. And you are not giving him enough. Alan will use you to his own ends and leave you with nothing. I doubt it. Oh, believe me. I know from experience. That's why I will not allow it to happen. I'm putting a stop to the lies right now. Alexandra, you are the only true friend that I have ever had. And I need you now more than ever. Please, don't blow the whistle on me now. I thought that we were friends. So did I. What well, is coming down on Alan worth destroying that? Because that's what will happen if you go to the police. Sonny, I didn't come here to put our friendship to the test. I came to warn you away from my brother. Well, fine. Why can't we just leave it at that? You don't know him like I do. Alan would love nothing more than seeing Josh put away for life. Just to keep him away from Reva. And he will stop at nothing to achieve that end. Well, maybe Josh deserves it. Oh, Sonny, you're not like that. You have scruples. You have a heart. I had a heart. And Josh broke it. And now it's time for him to pay. He and Reva will both pay. All right. Do what you have to. Just let me know what it is ahead of time. Thank you. As for Alan, watch your back. If he gets to be too much, call me. I'll even the odds before he knows what hit him. Oh, you're back. I trust Mara got home safely. Yes, yeah, she did. You know, Sonny was right. Mara looks exactly like her daddy. get Alan to help, but he's so angry he wouldn't listen. Well, if I were Alan, I wouldn't want to help me either. Don't worry. Rusty will come through for us. Been a lot of help so far, hadn't he? He's in a tough situation here. At least give him credit for trying. Reva, they're gonna ship me out of here before I get a chance to prove anything. Wouldn't want to slur the Carrera family name. Oh, yeah. no I am here I... on an official confession. No See. Si. See. Si. Oh, of course I will honor the request. Adios, Capitan Maya. Basta. Senor Detective Shane. Your captain back in the States indeed confirms that you're involved in Mr. Lewis's case. My apologies. 
Except it... Does that mean you believe us now? It has been decided that Mr. Lewis will leave within two hours on the next available flight to the States. Officials from my country will accompany. You can't Riva, do that! Riva, please! Thank you, Captain. If, if you'll turn him over to my custody, I will take care of his transport. No, I will be delighted. Anything to get the swaggering Americano out of my station and out of my country. Thank you, no, Captain. No, no. Thank you. Wait a minute, please. I'm not going anywhere, not yet. Oh, but you have no choice. Look, I'll make you a deal. All right, Captain? I won't fight extradition if you let me go back to that house. That way I can prove that Sonny had a twin sister. I'm sorry, but we do not make uh, deals with criminals. It won't is... take long, and then we'll be out of your hair for good. There is no exception. Did you know the Carrera family? Well, I was not involved with the family personally. But I can only respect the dead that are not here to, to defend themselves. Look, uh, this town remembers the Carrera family as being fine, upstanding people who kept to themselves and gave to the church. The twisted tale you tell uh, borders on, on blasphemy. I agree with you. I felt exactly the same way when I married Sonny Carrera, but I know the truth now. I am not... I am not crazy, Captain. And I can prove it to you if you let me go back to the house. Please. I didn't believe it at first either, but, but it's true. Look, I am fighting for my life here. If, if I'm wrong, you can ship me back to the United States any way you want. It's a tempting suggestion. Then you'll agree. But if you're wrong, I'll send you back north on the next banana boat. It's your own me. For what? Mental cruelty. I went through major grief for a guy who broke a promise. For marriage? Yeah, what else? Man, I'm really blown away. I mean, I, I figured Harley was sociologically unique, but rigid? Did you hear that? Where did Fraser get the idea that I'm rigid? Get out your shovel, Arlene. I just heard the best dirt. everybody that I'm frigid. Well, you don't think he'd admit to sexual problems, do you? That's it, I'm the... Well, tell me something first. How could you let a big fish like Alan Michael get away? Big? Alan Michael is not really that big a fish, you guys. Actually, the truth is, I shouldn't be saying this. Well, that was oh. Oh, oh, Ellen Michael Spalding. Yes. Really? Oh. Yes. What I know. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> Turning to the scene of the crime, Slime. Funny. I want my stuff back. When hell freezes over. What's the matter, Ice Princess? Can't deal with the cold facts about our breakup? Oh, I wouldn't let a little thing like that bother me. See you around, lover boy. <laughs> I called over half an hour ago. Cab 24? Thank you. Well, I swear I won't try and stop you from remembering the truth. I twins. can't take any chances. Melinda, I care much too much about you to let you get caught in the middle of anything that's going to be ugly. I have to go. No, what you need is just somebody to, to be with you, just to look after you. Stay away from me. Why? Because I get these feelings that when I do remember, it's going to be bad. That I'm bad. So we'll face it together. I'm not afraid. Even though I've already hurt you? No. Not even when I do this? No. What about when I do this? Where's Phil? I have no to see him. No one sees Mr. Spalding without an appointment. I'm sorry, Miss Lindsay. I tried to stop her, but she okay. pushed right past me. You saw me coming. You could have moved. It's okay, Evie. I'll handle it. As you wish. Yes, why don't you go back and look at Mr. November some more? Thank you, Evie. Phil? 
Philip's unavailable right now. Fine, I'll wait. He could be a long time. He's in a very important budget meeting. I am important to Phil, too. I'm sure he'll see me as soon as he gets back. You're right. I'm sure he will. Stay away from me, but I don't want to listen. But I have to. I have to let go of you. You're damn right, pal. Frank! Hello. It's Marquez, Senor Spalding. Are you alone? Yes. How's the investigation going? Uh, in general? Or no, do you I... Want... I'm alone. I'm fine now. I have time. Just tell me everything you know. I, I don't think uh, you're going to like what I found. You know, let me be the judge of that. Just give me what you've got. Uh, what is the expression? A photo is worth a thousand words? You have pictures? See, si. I'm ready to fax them to you, if you're ready to receive. Yeah, just a moment. Okay, I'm ready. Is there any news of Josh and Riva? My case is sending it now. This is Sonny's room. Uh, yeah, and I, uh, you've got to believe us. I mean, those boxes were full of evidence. I, I left them in the living room. I can't imagine what must have happened. These Americanos are a step closer to saying sí, adios. Say, los dos son muy locos. What are we going to do? They're never going to believe us now. Believe us, believe us. The, as you can see, this was Sonny's room. Now, 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 that wall over there was sealed until we found it. But on the other side is another bedroom that belonged to the twin sister, Salita. Go ahead, look for yourself. Accessory Club.